Thank you. Chief Minister, Shivara Singh Chauhan, President of Guyana, Honorable Excellencies, Distinguished Ministers, Distinguished Guests, and a special welcome to the business community from India and all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Adani Upastit Bhayar Baino. Meratarose Namaskar. Good afternoon. I am pleased to deliver the keynote address at this Global Investors Summit. And I believe this Global Investors Summit fits perfectly with the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas as both have the same goal to optimize the potential of the Indian diaspora. I congratulate the Chief Minister, the Honorable Shivaraj Chauhan, who I met personally yesterday with his vision to make Madhya Pradesh to what it is today. Let us all take this success story in the promising future of sustainable development and growth. Chief Minister, together with your team, you have delivered a model that is both innovative and forward-looking. With the financial, economic, and most of all, the social foundation with the specific roles and responsibilities for the youth and women, you have laid the foundation for improved and sustained economic development. Mr. Chief Minister, you have understood well that sustainable development is not achievable without a solid partnership between the public and private sectors and without targeting investment in the social and physical infrastructure. Ladies and gentlemen, we live indeed in challenging times with a deepening crisis in Eastern Europe affecting the world as a whole and the potential to set major economies back for years. Add to this the impact of COVID-19 pandemic, the debt burden in many small developing economies, the effects of climate change, the limited access to investment financing, etc. Then you will understand that many countries face a dire financial economic situation. At the same time, any crisis brings about opportunities that need to be seized with confidence. For example, global financial investment flows have been rerouted from Europe to Southeast Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, production and productivity levels could have an enormous improvement and have led to access to global markets and competitive prices. I'm therefore not surprised that India is in the chair of G20 summit, having taken over from another emerging economy, Indonesia. The team chosen by India, one world, one family, one future, says it all. Vasudeva Kutumbakam. I wish Prime Minister Narendra Modi all the success in the world in providing solid and visionary leadership and thereby not forgetting the small developing economies. I'm convinced that he, as G20 chairman and India, will lead the way towards a more just and correct international system, both from a political and economic perspective. India's chairmanship of the G20 is undoubtedly an opportunity not to waste but to pave a future road in the global financial architecture. It is a global platform to resolve current issues that hamper the growth of our economies. My country, Suriname, therefore supports India in its bid 
to a non-permanent seat in the United Nations Security Council at the United Nations. <laughs> India's role in the world is increasingly becoming important and recognized. India and the Indian diaspora has made its entrance in the global and national corporate world for a while now. But lately, we have seen an increase in the selection and presence of Indians in leadership positions in many large companies. This opens up opportunities which we must take advantage of and utilize for the further development of our countries. The diaspora business community must be involved in taking our economies to a new level of social responsibility and sustainable development of our societies in the future. In this regard, I'm delighted that the Caribbean region is represented at this event by both Guyana and Suriname. Our presence here only underlines our commitment to strengthening the synergies between our countries and the regions to forge partnership and build long-term cooperation. Both countries have been blessed by proven oil and gas resources in the billions. With good management, they can jumpstart our economies to a new level of development. Suriname stand on the cusp of promising developments in the oil and gas industry. As we are all aware, the future of oil and gas industry in light of climate change is a topic of significant debate and uncertainty. Some believe that the industry will not continue to play a significant role in the global energy mix for the foreseeable future. However, ladies and gentlemen, I don't see it in this way. While there are alternatives to fossil fuels such as hydrogen, biogas, solar energy, wind energy, propane, and natural gas, specific applications such as aviation and shipping cannot fully make use of this at this moment. Still, these applications look for another alternatives how they can cut the impact on the climate and therefore I believe that industry will continue but in a green way, in an environment-friendly manner with more advanced technology. Ladies and gentlemen, in December 2022, we had the first joint business council between the private sectors of our countries in preparation of this event and West Suriname highlighted the areas of interest for cooperation. These include agriculture and agro-processing, aquaculture, manufacturing, research and development, business process outsourcing, the chemical industry, mining, wood processing, energy, pharmaceutical industry, tourism and hospitality. Yet trade between Suriname and India is modest. There is still much to be done to encourage trade and investment between both nations, including dealing with issues like air and maritime transportation, business visa, requirement, business visa requirements, foster more cooperation in the fields of education and cultural exchanges, enhancing the ease of doing business and exploring new opportunities. Our Suriname Investment, Investment Trade Agency, CITA, will be the government's single point of entry to guide foreign investors through the process of establishing their company in Suriname. We stand ready to welcome you. Suriname will facilitate Indian companies to set up businesses in Suriname and serve the wider region, including CARICOM, and the Central South America, a market of 600 million people. With a growing middle class, we can be the supply chain hub for you for this region. You are part of our community as much as we are part of your community. The government of Suriname is committed 
to encouraging the development of business relations between Suriname and India. We are willing to provide all necessary support to enhance trade between the two countries. To take advantage of these opportunities, the business communities of both countries need to work together and shape the South-South relationship between them. Mr. Chief Minister, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, my government is open for business and willing to provide incentives to investors. My government is in the process of promoting the ease of doing business and removing barriers, impediments, and bureaucracy in doing business. My government is supporting the public-private strategy and is designing an investment-friendly environment for the business community. I wish all participants success in their quest to expand their business and connect with fellow persons of Indian origin. Creating valuable wealth, responsibility, therefore not only improving the lives of the Indian diaspora, but also the world community. It was indeed an honor to visit Madhya Pradesh to take part in several Pravasi Bharatiya Divas meetings to witness the cultural diversity and to enjoy the cuisine. But very important for me was the connect with Indian business and the business community. We all can make a difference in the world. You can make the difference. Yes, we are the difference. In a balanced and responsible manner, by combining our long-standing religious and spiritual fundamental norms and values with modern concept of market management and production, we are changing the world. The private refinery company, Reliance, I visited during my trip, is changing the world. The smart city, the cleanest city, Madhya Pradesh, is changing the world. We see this happening here in India and everywhere in the world, every single moment. If you want to change the world, be the change. Thank you, and my, may, may the Almighty God bless you all, and success with your meetings. Thank you very much. Dhaniyabad. Thank you very much, Honorable President, sir, for your very deep insights into many a challenges which the world is facing, and wherein the leaders of the world have to join together in combating them and showing your uh, faith and confidence in Madhya Pradesh and India to be the leaders of change.